What is up guys, in today's video we are on the Slayer Alt doing another video testing out how much money a Slayer Alt makes on different Slayer monsters. If you do not know, we made this account in a 5 episode series where we achieved 77 Slayer to be able to do Brutal Black Dragons. Now we use this account to test it out on profitable Slayer monsters in game. If you have not seen the many monsters we have tested already, check them out, they are in the description. If you do want to see how we made this count from the very beginning, go ahead and check out the Slayer Alt series in the description as well. It will give you some help if you want to make a Slayer Alt as well. The way I choose which monster to test is based on what you guys vote on in my community tab. You guys voted for worms with range, so that is what we are doing today. We already did worms with melee, so I'm excited to see which one makes more GP per hour. If you want to help choose the next monster, go ahead and vote in the community tab now. There is a new poll right now. The stats we have on this account are 82 attack, 83 strength, 82 defense, 84 range, 70 prayer, 59 magic, and 84 hit points. We also have 77 slayer and worms require 62 slayer to kill. The gear we are using is the armadillo helmet. Armadillo Chestplate, Armadillo Chain Skirt, which can be swapped with God Dehyde or regular Dehyde, the Necklace of Anguish, the Ava's Accumulator, Amethyst Arrows, the Magic Shortbow imbued because the Toxic Blowpipe costs too much money per kill and will likely bring our profit down a lot. We are also using the Guthix Bracers because we do not have the Barrel's Gloves on the alt yet, the Boots of Stone, and the Archer's Ring. In the inventory we have a Ranging Potion, a Tudor Stamina Potion to run there, a Skills Necklace to teleport to the Worms, Nature Runes and Fire Runes to alk the many alkable drops, and the rest of the inventory is Monk fish. I will now show you guys how to get there. I am using the skills necklace and teleporting to the farming guild. This is the most basic teleport there and everyone can use it. You can also use the fairy rings if you've completed the first fairy tale quest and gotten to the fairy ring portion of the second quest and you can use the code CIR which is closer to the slayer dungeon at the top of the mountain which is where we are running. Worms use a magic and melee attack but if you are not within melee distance they will only use magic so the armadillo armor should help us take very little damage. In my melee version of killing the worms I did not use any prayer potion so I do not think I will need any in this video either. If you do find yourself taking more damage than me at the worms, you could use per potions to negate all damage by the worms, but that would obviously cut into your profit. I will be using the method where I bank all of the worm bones because that is where the majority of the profit comes from and the bank is not far at all from the dungeon, which I will show you in a second. Also, to enter the dungeon, unless you have completed the elite Karend and Kebos diary, you must wear the boots of stone, boots of burnstone, or the granite boots. I am using the boots of stone because they are cheap and get the job done. Also, worms are considered dragons, but they do not require any form of dragon fire protection. You could use the dragon hunter crossbow here, but I believe the magic shortbow imbued is faster. There are also a few ways to safe spot the worms, but not really worth it if you want the most kills per hour. The bank is located up in the top right corner at the top of the mountain, and that is where we will be banking in between trips to re-gear with ranging potions and food and to put our loot in the bank. I will be using the loot tracker from Runelight to track all the drops, but in the melee video at Worms, I did pick up all the valuable items left behind by other players, so I plan to do that as well. Well, once you are ready and geared up, enter the dungeon and make sure you are wearing the correct form of boots, otherwise you will take constant damage once you enter the worm area. Once in the dungeon, run north for a little bit, and then at the middle section, go west and follow the path until you get to the worms. The worms slither around on the ground, but once you attack them, they will stand up and attack you with magic if you are not within melee distance. They are killed quite easily and pretty quickly, so there is not much to their mechanics, and you just basically attack them and make sure you are not in melee distance. I will start the timer now, and when we get a full inventory, I will show you how we bank and then I will be showing you guys any unique or big drops that we get and then I will show you guys when we are done with the first hour, the second hour, and finally the third hour with all the loot we made compared to the melee version. I have a feeling that the range method may make more money than the melee method but I do not know for sure. If you guys have enjoyed this video so far go ahead and leave a like and subscribe now if you haven't because the majority of you watching are not subscribed and we're getting closer and closer to 5k subs. Just finished our first inventory we are about we're just over 13 minutes in, and we've already made 95k, almost 100k in one inventory. That is awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run back up here, and then go to the center area, and then go south back to the elevator that we went down, and then go to the northeast corner where the bank is on top of the mountain, and bank my stuff. I'm probably going to grab a two-dose ranging potion instead of a four, because I only use two doses, and then I will come back and continue, and then I'll show you guys any of the big loot we get, or the first hour, whichever one of those comes first. Just over an hour in, and the loot tracker says we have made 408k. The only reason why we really got to over 400k, we were just below that, is because we just got an awesome dragon throwing axe drop, 109 of them, worth 43k, that's pretty awesome. I thought it was actually worth more, so I guess that's not a huge drop, but it's still pretty rare, I'm pretty sure it worms. Anyways, I'm going to continue to do this, and keep in mind I have been picking up extra items on the ground, 
Oh, I accidentally just stole it from that guy. My bad. But anyways, I've been picking up extra items, but I've been keeping track of what I'm picking up. So I will have probably around 20k more than what the loot tracker says right now. So I'm actually closer to 420k in the first hour. We have just reached over the second hour. We have made, let me show you the timer, just over two hours. We have made 648k. Let's round that to 650. That means we're making 325k GP per hour. That is actually pretty good. Hopefully by the end of this last hour, we get a couple more big drops, maybe a couple more rune battle axe. We have just completed the third hour, just over three hours. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the GE and then get out all the items and compare it to the loot tracker and see how much money we made in three hours of killing the worms with range. Now time for the moment we have all been waiting for. How much money do you make at worms with range in three hours? We made a total of 1,040,000 GP. We made more money than the rune light loot tracker which was 930k and that was due to us picking up the many items that are left on the ground and we made around 100k more gp than the kills show on the loot tracker this is because of the items and bones people leave behind and the fact that i out many items since we did worms for three hours we made around 346k gp an hour with range when we tested the worms earlier with melee we made around 362k gp an hour so we actually made less money doing range than with melee on top of that we also used amethyst arrows with range so that was additional money lost we spent around 200k GP in supplies, bringing our profit per hour to 280k GP per hour, which is honestly pretty bad. I would not recommend doing worms on an alt to make money with this method, but if you do want to use worse supplies like a rune crossbow and broadbolts, it may bring the profit up per hour. Worms only require 62 slayers, so if you want to do them for money before you get to 70 slayer for something like Kurasks, just do worms with melee instead and save yourself some money. Worms are pretty AFK, and I banked a total of 14 times, which made it pretty chill to do. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and also leave a comment if you have any suggestions for another monster for me to test. Also, around 90% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed, so if you are not subscribed, please consider doing it right now and help the channel out and also help us reach our goal of 5k subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for my next video.